Hi guys, I could not wait to get to the kitchen and film this episode about my cottage cheese queso. Shout out to Christy at Life Unbinged. I got it from her and adapted it a little bit. But here's what you do, this is so simple. You start out with a cup of cottage cheese. I don't know if you've ever whipped cottage cheese in the blender, but it turns into this smooth, beautiful, velvety, creamy substance that you think is just divine and you can do so many things with from cheesecake, which I'll do one of those uh, episodes later because it's so good with the whipped cottage cheese. But today we're gonna do the cottage cheese queso up on my blog, Food Fitness by Paige. So you start out with a cup, blend it in your magic bullet, your ninja blender, whatever you have. To that, you add a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast. Love the nutritional yeast. You can add whatever seasonings you want. I like the chili lime, just in whatever portions you want. If we weren't filming, I would uh, do that in the blender too. One important thing with the cottage cheese is blend it first by itself. The uh, dry ingredients make it a little too dry and it doesn't blend as well. So beyond that, I do a half of a can of Rotel and I do a full can of those little green chilies. I like the mild, you can spice it up. Same with the Rotel if you want spicy or there's even no salt. We try to do no salt here in this family, so a little bit lower sodium but you've got this beautiful queso dip and you if you want to add less or more of the rotel or chilies or actually the any of the spices you can let it be your own but here you've got this beautiful dip it took me you know five minutes to put this together this is what it looks like when it's ready now the question is since i don't do tortilla chips what do you dip in them well red bell peppers baby potatoes green bell peppers carrot sticks but my favorite have you used jicama? It looks like this in the grocery store. You can ask the produce guy where it is. It's a root vegetable. It's more than 50% fiber. It's got this beautiful like light apple taste, but not appley, not super sweet, but it's just so mild and delicate. You will love it. I chop that up into sticks. I let it marinate in some lime juice overnight and then sprinkle it with some more chili lime and you have this beautiful combination that you can almost make into a meal so good for you. This entire recipe of queso is only 350 calories for these two cups. It's like got 21 grams of net carbs. It's got 39 grams of protein and maybe 10 grams of fat for two cups. That can easily be four servings if you would like it too. You have to try this one. I promise you won't regret it. If you do, let me know. But most of all, have a good day, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.